Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Keith from My Repair Autos, and today we're going to be doing that oil drip pan that I talked about um, just a few days ago. That video can be found somewhere on this screen, but today we're going to be actually doing it, and this is to save your air intake manifolds. If you're oil drip pan is not working properly oil is going to go by and into your air manifolds the flaps plastic flaps get seized up over time because of this and they break so we're going to be changing that oil uh, drip pan um <clears throat> so stay with me and we'll do that now because we're going to be changing the oil drip pan which is this unit right here Guess what we also need to change? We need to change the oil rebreather port cover, which goes into your air intake manifold through that port right there. This diaphragm right here plugs into this oil drip pan like so, and it fits snugly onto the oil drip pan. And because of that, we're gonna have to change the oil rebreather port cover, as well as the uh, oil drip pan together so let's get to it we're going to start by removing the ports that bring air in disconnect the secondary air pump hose from the filtration housing then remove the clip from the air housing for the filtration system pop that off and remove this out for more details see my video on air mass or mass airflow sensor get that out of the way so the most important part of any job is finding where you need to work and you start off by finding your oil filler port right there and you just work your way back and this is the hose I'm gonna to touch it right here from the rebreather into the right this is the rebreather it's four held down by four E10 six pointed bolts four of them and there's not a lot of room back here but I'm gonna disconnect that hose and once you disconnect it you can check yep and there's oil right there already there should be no oil coming from the rebreather or any oil in the hose if that's the case then your rebreather and your oil drip pan needs to be changed for sure using the E10 socket loosen up all four bolts on the rebreather cover and then remove it I'm not going to go into detail because this is also done in my other video once you've loosened up all four with the socket, then remove them by hand. Then remove the rebreather cover. Here's further proof that the oil drip pan is failed and oil is getting into the air intake manifold through the rebreather port. I'm going to be using a quarter inch six pointed socket. And let me stress this, when you're removing the bolt for the oil drip pan, it's clockwise to remove it clockwise to loosen it clockwise guys we'll turn it clockwise until that bolt is loose remember you turn it clockwise and once it's loosened up and rem you know taken out of the threading you will remove the oil drip pan you just pull it straight out and it will come loose don't drop it down into the engine compartment Here's a quick comparison between the new on the left and the used worn out part on the right. That worn out groove will allow oil to slip by and get into your air intake manifold and wreak havoc on that part. So let's change it. We're going to put this back into the vehicle with the bolt in place snugly on, um, around the interface that's on the camshaft and we're going to tighten it down to 10 foot pounds i suggest tightening it very lightly and remember it's to tighten it it's counterclockwise to tighten it counterclockwise guys so let's do that so when we're putting it back in we're going to make sure that it sits right against the shaft interface there's a little round circular piece that also has threading so you push it on flat and then we'll start to tighten up the bolt using that quarter inch socket we're gonna then turn that bolt 
counterclockwise by hand to tighten it. We're going to turn that all the way down as tight as we can by hand. Once it's tightened by hand, all the way down, counterclockwise, we will then take the socket and gently tighten that. You don't want to over tighten it. And the reason why you want to change the rebreather port cover, even if you recently changed it, that diaphragm sits on that shaft that was worn out on the old part and as a result that diaphragm is also worn out, damaged, stretched and torn. Installation is the reverse of taking it off. You just place it in to the port. You attach the four E10 bolts by hand, tightening them down as much as you can with your hand. And then once that's done, you'll use the socket, the E10 socket, to tighten those down to 10 foot pounds. Next, we'll reconnect the rebreather hose to the cover. Then once that's done, we'll reconnect the air filtration housing. We'll also connect the secondary air pump hose, the ports for the air intake, and the oil slash engine top cover. And the job is done. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like people. Thanks for watching. And the parts that are in this particular video, the oil trip pan, and the rebreather cover, the bolts and all that. Down below in the video, I have links to that where you can get that from me. Cheaper than at Mercedes, so help support the channel by buying your parts here. And uh, yeah.